hello everyone so in this video we will see how to configure dscp server and assign ip addresses automatically to number of pcs connected in a network so this will help to minimize the configuration time required for configuring ip addresses to different pcs so i'm going to do this with the help of cisco packet tracer so i'm going to connect number of pcs so four pcs i am going to connect here then i am going to select switch and i am going to select server one server okay now connect them all together I am going to rename this server as DHCP server dynamic host configuration protocol so dynamically all the host will get IP address that, that's why the name is dynamic host configuration protocol okay so I am just going to configure this server okay so first of all I will assign IP address to this server 192.168.1.1 you can assign any IP address for this default gateway is 192.168.1.1 DNS we are not using DNS server so I am keeping this blank then I will click on services then DSCP you can see the services are off I have to first, first configure this and then turn on the services the default gateway will be this PC itself 192.168.1.1 DNS is not there and it is asking starting IP so I am going to start with the next IP address that is 2 and it is asking you how many PCs I want to connect so I have selected here 4 PCs ok then turn on this services and now you can save it ok so details are saved the DSCP server is configured ok so I am going to use one more PC I am just keeping it aside later on I will configure it I am connect it but I will not configure it ok ok so 4 PCs so now just turn on the simulation to see what exactly happens ok so go to any PC go to desktop click on IP configuration and don't assign IP address here just click on DSCP so you will see requesting IP message is populated ok so just minimize it and just check the details DSCP protocol is initiated from the client PC and now it is asking provide IP address so this is again taking help of ARP ok because as default gateway I have mentioned so it is going to send a message to default gateway as well as other PCs ok other PCs and now we just check rest other PCs are rejected because they have not configured and the server is going to accept it the server is going to reply with its MAC address to everyone ok now here middle other packets uh, if they are arriving they will be discarded by the all the pieces okay so now just check server replied back with DSCP messages so you can see then actual DSCP starts my PC will ask for providing IP address now you can see 192.168.1.2 is IP address allotted to my PC the rest other PCs are still not configured because they have not raised a request ok so if you want to check the details you can click it here uh, my PC is PC0 so it will provide me detail here 
so just check if you are clicking it the packet is at DSCP pa uh, the packet and the DSCP client processes it DCP client receives a DSCP acknowledgement packet and DSCP client receives an acknowledgement packet and sets its IP address configuration okay so this is what it has done so every layer if you are clicking it will be providing details uh, UDP message is there so UDP port number uh, source port number destination port number it is mentioning at the IP addresses okay now just check now similarly now we will go to real time and we will assign now IP address to other PCs just click on desktop IP configuration DSCP so it will get a next IP next again desktop and DSCP requesting IP and DSCP request successful then again DSCP DSCP request requesting IP and then IP address configured now when we click on this we will see what exactly happens this is a fifth PC now just check requesting IP and it will not get IP address of the same range and it is saying DSCP failed now why this happened because in the DSCP pool we have selected only four maximum PCs should be configured okay so that's why fifth PC will not get a IP address from the DSCP okay and that's why this error is there so if you want to configure this PC as well then we have to, uh, we have to change the settings in the DSCP pool okay so we will see where it is go to DSCP now here just check we have selected only four pieces if I select it five and if I'm going to save it now we will see what happens go to static and again click on DSCP now just check the IP address is now assigned so this is how you can manually check uh, manually uh, set the range of the DSCP pool you can reduce it you can increase it depending on uh, number of requests uh, arising and number of uh, devices are connected in the network okay so that's all regarding DSCP and how to configure um, DSCP server and assign IP address to different PCs okay which will save our time of configuration